High quality surfaces are paramount on roadways being built and resurfaced across Texas. A well compacted and smooth asphalt pavement is often achieved by paving in multiple layers or lifts using an asphalt paving machine. Researchers at the Texas A&M Transportation Institute are working with the Texas Department of Transportation to evaluate a specialized paving machine called a tamper bar paver that may be able to lay thick lifts of asphalt more efficiently. Thick lift paving is when you place asphalt concrete in lifts that are greater than what's allowed by the TxDOT specifications. So this lets you put down, let's say, four or six inches of asphalt at one time instead of breaking it up into two or three different lifts. Can we be more efficient? Can we place this all in the six inch lift? Or can we be even more extreme and place this in say an eight inch lift uh, and still get the same performance and the same uh, density and the same quality? The problem is that thick lift paving uh, has its own hurdles. One, there's concerns that you're not gonna get uniform compaction or uniform density. Uh, there's concerns that it's gonna take a long time to cool down and it's more difficult to get a good ride quality. So a, a tamper bar paver is a special piece of equipment that puts down more compaction right behind the screed. So the objective of the research was to see if a tamper bar paver could effectively place thick lift asphalt and what are the best practices to do that. We got tamper bar pavers onto some thick paving projects and we placed those layers somewhere six, eight, ten inches thick and we placed them with a single lift and with two lifts. We, we modified the compaction settings, changed the rolling patterns, and we evaluated you know, how long did it take to cool down, uh, how good was the compaction quality, and what was the final ride quality. So we found that using thick lift paving, you can actually get better compaction, more uniform compaction, than if you did it in separate lifts, because you're eliminating that interface that has poor compaction quality. Uh, so using a thick lift, you actually get a higher quality, possibly a better, longer lasting pavement. The tamper bar paver did give more uniform air void distribution throughout the depth. However, when they placed these eight or maybe even 10 inch lifts, what they found is the top tended to cool off, but the inside stayed uh, warm for a very, very long time. So we still had to keep it closed to traffic for eight to 10 hours until it cooled off. Given the very limited use of tamper bar pavers in the United States and the challenges with temperature and ride quality, TxDOT decided against modifying their lift thickness requirements. Had this panned out completely, I, I think it would have been uh, a really good option to placing uh, larger base material uh, prior to putting surface mix. I, I do still think that there's a potential for that, but it also kind of gave us an idea of, you know, can we do this with traditional pavers and just put an extra roller? So I do think there's still room to expand uh, from that perspective. For more information and to find the publications for this project, please visit the Tech.Research Library at the link shown below.